So this is the first part of our lecture on the first law of thermodynamics. So based on sa katong gihatag nako na infographic, so and the and the announcements that I gave in our MS Teams. So medyo mo double time juta ani no kay supposed to be in the old curriculum. This is two semesters. You have thermodynamics one and thermodynamics two, but in the new curriculum diffuse yeah, into one chemical engineering thermodynamics that's why as you can see in our in the course outline that I've posted medyo daghan kay siya ang topics then medyo gamay ra tag time so but of course daghan man kay ang schedule masad nato kay taas masa kay tag schedule kay we have a dry lab and a lecture time so I would expect a lot of effort from from you kay so si solicited bu siya kay medyo daghan ang mugawa sa board exam sa thermodynamics. So, well, this is our first part of the lecture. So, I hope that you are done doing the first output. So, the first output was just a review on the physics terms that you are going to encounter in this course. But, some of the topics are actually very familiar to you already because of FICEM, FICEM 1, and of course in your physics class. So, ato alang karon is more concentrated and more specialized. So, more concentrated and more specialized in the field of chemical engineering. Okay? This is CHE thermodynamics. So, so, the first law of thermodynamics that is also known as the law of conservation of energy. So, we are already familiar with that one. We already know that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. So, although energy assumes many forms, the total quantity of energy is constant. So, and when energy disappears in one form, it appears simultaneously in other forms. So, this is the definition provided. Uh, this is the this is the first law of thermodynamics provided by the book by Vaness. Now, there are actually a lot of a lot of statements of the first law depending up, depending upon the reference but basically it has the same idea so this is the law of conservation of energy this is the basis of our energy balance calculations now in our calculations class CHE calculations we are we learned about material balances now in this course we are going to learn everything about energy balances so energy balances is Base, uh, energy balances are based on the law of conservation of energy. So, mathematically, so this means that the energy of the system, I mean the change in the energy of the system, plus the change of energy of the surroundings is equal to zero, since energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So, it can only be transformed from one form to another. So, this is the first law of thermodynamics. So, a very important application is energy balances. Mo na kong giingon ganina, no? Okay. If you are done with your heat and mass transfer class, normally we would want to calculate for the heat, for the heat for our various heat transfer unit operations. We want to calculate for the heat in our distillation column. We would want to calculate the heat for our heat exchangers. We would want to calculate the heat for our evaporators. So, in order to do that one, we need to perform energy balances. Now, energy balances, so they are based on the first law of thermodynamics. Not only heat, we are so in our uh, momentum transfer class. So, we are sometimes we are required to calculate for the work. The work in our fluid transferring equipment such as the pumps, the work in our compressors, the work in our turbines. So, so we can actually calculate all of those using the first law of thermodynamics via energy balances. So, mona ang ato ang discussion karon. Okay, so to continue, so we need first to define to define two term two terms. So we have uh, the system and the surroundings. So you are already familiar with those terms in chemistry. So when we say system, this is where the, pl the process is taking place. Now everything outside of our system is considered part of the surroundings. Now in thermodynamics, we have 
In the study of thermodynamics, we have three types of system. We have what we call as an open system, a closed system, and an isolated system. So this part of the lecture focuses on the energy balances in open system. So in an open system is basically a system where, wherein there is an exchange of both matter and energy between the system and the surroundings. While in closed systems, so as you can see here, so there is no exchange of matter. So that means, that means so that's why, hence the word close. But there is an exchange of energy. Now this will be our second part of our lecture. Then lastly, we have an isolated system. So neither. So there is no exchange of matter nor energy between the system and the surroundings. So our focus in this lecture are open systems so so going back to our energy balance equation so this this equation is quite familiar to you this is the continuity equation that we have learned in our chemical engineering calculations class so we, we know that the accumulation for in in CH calc we know that the accumulation is equal to in minus out plus generation minus consumption but of course those are all mass terms but in this class so since we are talking about energy balances all those terms are actually energy energy terms so the accumulation of energy in our system is equal to the energies going in minus the energies going out plus generation minus consumption but we all know that from the first law of thermodynamics energy is a conserved quantity so it cannot be created nor destroyed so that means the generation term and the consumption term are all equal to zero so that means the accumulation of energy is equal to energy in minus energy out so the accumulation term so the accumulation of energy so writing it mathematically so the accumulation of energy so we have we have the accumulation of internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy actually those are the three energies which can be stored in matter so writing it down mathematically so the internal energy that is that is denoted by the symbol u then the kinetic energy we all know that one as mv squared over then the potential energy mgh so this is our accumulation term so this so this term in our equation is equal to the energies going in minus the energies going out so this is our this is our general general energy balance equation so considering so considering open systems so when you say open system, there is an exchange of both matter and energy between the system and the surroundings. So if you look into this diagram, so if you look into this diagram, so this is our system. Everything outside of our system is considered part of the surroundings. So in this diagram, we have we have one flowing stream going into the system and we also have one flowing stream going out of the system now this is just an example pwede po na siya na daghan o manulod na masses pwede po daghan po siya o exit streams so as you can see here so the flowing streams so kanisi lang doha the mass one or the mass going in and the mass going out so each of these flowing streams have have specific properties so mass 1 here has its own kinetic energy kinetic energy because there there is velocity no flow man here there's also potential energy by virtue of elevation and also internal energy so aside from that one it can also it will also have its own enthalpy enthalpy value same for the mass going out m2 so napud sa iyang kinetic energy because of the velocity na napud potential energy internal energy and as well as enthalpy so these are our flowing streams. Now, remember in our physical chemistry, physical chemistry class, FICHEM 1, so we have two energies in, tran uh, in transient, no? Or the two energies in transit. So we have two transient energies or energies in transit. We have heat and the work. So basically, these are the energies being exchanged by our system and our surroundings. We have heat Q and uh, work. So, 
considering this diagram, we can or we can write down our energy balance equation for an open system. We already said that accumulation is equal to in energy going in minus energy going out. So writing that one mathematically. So we have dmu over dt or the partial derivative of the internal energy I mean the derivative of the internal energy with respect to time so as you can see ano, u naman lang nawala man ang kinetic energy nawala ang kinetic energy naman ni kinetic energy and the potential energy so, naw so nawala sila sa atong equation because the values of the potential energy and kinetic energy are very small compared to the internal energy. So that's why maumitra siya. So our accumulation term, we have this. We have this term. So the CV here represents the control volume. So basically, the control volume is, is another term for the system. In an op uh, it's, it's another term for an open system. So, the system in an open system. So, muna siya, that's why butang na siya ang CV. That's control volume. So, this is our this is our accumulation term. So, that's equal to in minus out. So, unsa man ang mga energies na ano na nanulod, unsa man ang energies na nanggawa. So, if we go back to our diagram, so remember na, na ang mga nang sulod diri, we have heat, we also have our work. Then we also have the energies carried by our flowing stream. So in this case, usaraman ang nisolod. So then, unsaman ang nigawas? Ang nigawas lang na energy here in this diagram is the energy in our exiting stream na to, M2. So writing that one in equation, so we have this one. So so we have the energy of our flowing streams so ang nisulod so kani siya uh, going back here we have m1 so so m1 here so ang energy remember na ang energy na ma store in matter so we have the internal energy then we all have the kinetic energy we also have the potential energy so we have u here represents the internal energy v squared over 2 that's the kinetic energy then gh GH that's the potential that's the potential energy so maon is yang energy then PV here this is the the flow work so basically the flow work that's the energy associated when when flowing streams passes through entrances and exits so this is uh, the whole energy term for our for our flowing stream going in nga no man in a summation dire kay it's possible that dili ra usa ang musulod unlike this example pwede na siya napay lain na musulod and several flowing streams going into our system so this is uh, so going back so this is our energy term sa to ang flowing stream ani sulod you have the internal energy you have the flow work then you have the kinetic energy and you have your potential energy then minus sa uh, nigawas so same gihapon so summation gihapon kay it's possible that ang nigawas kay dili rasad usa ka buok pwede duha or tulo hence the summation sign so same gihapon so this is a flowing stream so it carries uh, internal energy it has internal energy it has kinetic energy and it also has potential energy then it also has flow work kay nigawas man siya through the exit so you have u plus pv plus v squared over 2 plus gh so these are so these two this is the this is the energy carried by our flowing streams m1 and m2 then plus the energies in transit we have w which is the work plus heat q so simplifying our energy balance equation so as you can see no you should be careful of the units here kay medyo daghan kayo og energy terms now usually students will get a wrong answer just because dili ma consistent ang inyong units so please be careful with the units now this equation for the energy balance of an open system can further be simplified if 
using the term enthalpy so you are already aware of this thermodynamic property enthalpy so the enthalpy is just equal to u plus pv so substituting u plus pv as h so we can rewrite our energy balance equation so mo na si og h plus v squared over 